time one, here is our math problem for today. We are given two equations, x cubed plus 9 x squared y equals 10, and y cubed plus x y squared equals 2, and solve this system of equations in the set of real numbers. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math Olympiad problem. Now, let's solve this problem together. Let's analyze the question. We have here x cubed, we have here y cubed, so this is a cubic equation. Let's recall the cube of a binomial. Let's recall that if we have this cube of a binomial, the expansion of this would be, first let's recall the Pascal triangle. So the first coefficient is 1 a cubed plus this 3 as the coefficient, and we take the first term, a raised to the second, the second term, raised to the first, plus this three again, a to the first, b squared, plus b to the third. So this is the expansion. We have here a cubed followed by three a squared b. But the problem is we have here nine x squared y. So following this cube of a binomial, if you take the cube of the binomial x plus three y, Notice that this is equal to the cube of the first term, x cubed, plus this 3, times the square of the first term, x squared, times the second term, 3y, plus 3 again, times the first term, x, times the square of the second term, 3y squared, plus the cube of the second term, 3y. This simplifies to x cubed plus 9x squared y plus 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 x y squared plus 3 cubed again is 27 y cubed. Notice now that this x cubed plus 9 x squared y is exactly the left side of the first equation, but our problem is the second equation. How can we transform this into this one? Again, notice that if I multiply this by 27, the left side of the second equation becomes 27 y cubed plus 27xy squared, and the right side becomes 54. Notice now that this part here is exactly the last two terms of the expansion of the cube of x plus 3y. You just have to apply the commutative property here. And that's the beauty of this math Olympiad problem. So we are now ready to solve this problem. So solving now these two equations simultaneously, where the second equation now is this part, and we arrive at this by multiplying the original second equation by 27. Notice that if we add x cubed plus 9 x squared y plus 27 y cubed plus 27 x y squared, that is this part here, and that is equal to the binomial x plus 3y raised to the third, and the right side becomes 10 plus 54, which is equal to 64. Now, since we are solving this for the set of real numbers, we can just take the cube root of both sides of this equation, and therefore we have x plus 3y is equal to 4, and solving for x, x is equal to 4 minus 3y. Now, we can substitute this to the first or the second equation, but we will try to avoid the first equation because this is raised to the third, and it would be difficult to raise this to the third. So let's take the original second equation. So substituting this to the original second equation, we have y cubed plus our x now is 4 minus 3y, so we are in this part, times y squared equals 2, and simplifying, we have y cubed plus 4y squared minus 3y cubed equals 2. y cubed minus 3y cubed is negative 2y cubed. We copy the 4y squared that is equal to positive 2. And we can solve for y cubed by dividing this by negative 2. And so we now have this part here is positive y cubed minus 2y squared. This is negative 1. When it transferred to the left becomes positive 1 equals 0. This is a cubic equation, and we can solve for the value of y here using synthetic division. Okay, using synthetic division, let's take the coefficients first. We have 1, we have negative 2. There is no linear term here for y, so we inserted 0, and then 1. And using the rational root theorem, we know that the divisor would be a factor of this constant divided by the coefficient of 1 here. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we can divide this by 1. Dividing by 1, bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is 
negative 1. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. And 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So that means y equals 1 is a solution. Now, since this is cubic, we expect two more. This depressed polynomial is equivalent to y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0 which is a familiar quadratic equation. Using quadratic formula, we can show that the root of this is the golden ratio. So let me show you. So using quadratic formula, y is equal to negative b, where our b is negative 1, so that becomes positive 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, our b is negative 1, and squaring negative 1 is positive 1, minus 4ac. So we have 4 times this 1 here, times our c is negative 1, so this becomes negative 4, so we have minus negative 4 all over 2a where our a is 1 all over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2 which is the golden ratio so we now have three roots for y y equals 1 y equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and the third one is y equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 so let's summarize our values for y and we still need to find the values of x so we know that y is equal to 1. We know also that y is 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. And the third value for y is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. We need to find the corresponding x values. And how can we find x? Notice that we have this equation for x. If y equals 1, this becomes x equals 4 minus 3 times 1. So x is equal to 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1. That is one value for x. Now, if x is 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, this equation becomes x equals 4 minus 3 times the quantity 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Simplifying, this is equal to x equals 4, distribute negative 3 to this binomial here, negative 3 times 1 over 2 is negative 3 halves, minus 3 square root of 5 over 2. We distribute this monomial factor and we split 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 into two fractions. And this gives us x equals 4 minus 3 halves is 5 over 2, minus 3 square root of 5 over 2, which we can write as one fraction, 5 minus 3 square root of 5 over 2. So, when y is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, x is 5 minus 3 square root of 5 over 2. Then, when y is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, we use again the same formula, x is equal to 4 minus 3 times 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2, which is equal to 4 minus 3 halves plus 3 square root of 5 over 2. So 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 is 5 over 2 plus 3 square root of 5 over 2, which can be written as 1 fraction 5 plus 3 square root of 5 over 2, which is now the remaining x value. So to summarize now our answers, we have three ordered pairs. If x is 1, y is 1. The other one is when x is 5 minus 3 square root of 5 over 2, y is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And the other solution is when x is 5 plus 3 square root of 5 all over 2, y is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So these are the solutions to this system of equations. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.